What is up, y'all? Christopher Cologne ASMR, and I'm back with another video. So, I got my condenser mic hooked up. I didn't like my setup before because what I was using was this mic. Just a cheap mic that came from Best Buy with the stand that I got my phone on. So I went ahead and figured, I got a condenser mic, I'll go ahead and I'll try to figure out a way to get this, to get it to work with my phone. Because I'm recording on my phone right now until I get either a phone with a better camera or uh, a camera itself. So I did a day, like a day of researching and I had to get a... Uh, um, a phantom power supply and I went ahead and got that got the adapter and a couple cords that I need to get to make it work with the phone and so I'm not going to be using this for ASMR because that's why I used for my first two videos and I didn't like those videos so I figured I'd go ahead and use this video, test this mic out, um, and go over, since this is a fragrance review ASMR channel, I figured I'd go over the Dr. Squatch soap that I just got today. Now, if you haven't heard of Dr. Squatch, it's a all-natural soap company. They advertise a lot on Facebook, and that's how I found out about them. And I've been using them for a little over a year now. I could tell a big difference in my skin compared to using shower gels and other stuff. And I have a three month subscription that rolls over until I cancel it. And I'm not going to be canceling anytime soon. So, but yeah, I figured I'd give a quick, quick review on them and these soaps. I mean, it's not like a, I don't send me, they haven't ever sent me anything free, or this ain't a paid for advertisement or anything like that. This is just what I get. Um, but, yeah, so I got six bars that I'm going to go over today. And, uh, one of them is, the first one is, Area 51 brick. It's a limited edition. They call it the Galaxy Edition. So, I'll open this up. And that's the bar right there. Some of them are marble, some of them are solid. I really like this one because it has like a It's almost like a eucalyptus tea and with a hint of tea tree, even though neither one of those are in the ingredients. Yeah, I'm actually surprised that neither one of those are in the ingredients. But yeah, it's got a little bit of it's got a little bit of that that type of scent to it. But that is the Area 51 Blue. And something I like about these two is, okay, they're about, I think they're about $6 a piece. I've seen them showing up in Walmart too here lately, but I get mine off the site. Um, but they last about, they last about two to three weeks and I take a shower at least once a day, every day. So, I honestly think that's pretty good because most other bar soap that I've used, that's about all it lasted to. But, um, and this makes my skin feel a lot better. So I really like the, I really like using this. Now, I mean, sometimes I still do use my shower gels, 
and stuff like that, but they don't make my skin feel like this stuff makes my skin feel. So, I keep using this because there ain't nothing like Dr. Squatch on my crotch. <laughs> I'm just messing. I'm just messing. But, yeah. So, this one, we got Mars Bar. Now, out of the six, this is my favorite one. It has, like, a sweet, fruity smell to it. And a couple of the things that it's got in it is mango butter. And that's where I'm getting that for sweet fruit smell from. But yeah, mango butter. Um, it's also got camo camo volcanic ash. It says it's a medium grit bar. So we'll see because I have never used this before. I just smelled it. But yeah, if it smells as good after I actually use it, if it smells as good on my skin as it does on the bar, this is probably, probably going to be my favorite one. More than likely, I'd guess. So, and then we got Moon Rock. This is another Galaxy Edition. Limited Edition. I don't really care for this one all that much. And I can't. I cannot think of what this one smells like, but it just does not smell good to me. And I've smelled the smell before, and I can't think of where I've smelled it at, but I don't really like it. Moon Rock. It's got sunflower oil, um, kaolin oil, sea salt. Uh, Wolfsbane. So, yeah. That one's Moon Rock. And this one says it's a heavy grit. Normally, whenever the soap's a heavy grit, I can feel it. I don't feel it in this one. And then... Then we got another Star Wars edition. Limited edition. This is Ruthless Rinse. I already have this one. And I like it. It's alright. I have better ones. But yeah, it's okay. But it's a solid bar. Not marble like the other ones. But this one says it's a heavy grit. Like I said, normally I can feel it in there. But I don't. I'm not feeling any of these. So. But yeah. Comment. Y'all comment. Let me know if y'all have ever used Dr. Squatch. It's mainly marketed to men. So. Uh, they got. They got beer. I think they got beard oils. I'm pretty sure they got beard oils. Which I need to go ahead and try that. Because. This is pretty dry, and sometimes it gets on my nerves, but I'm not shaving it off because I hate the way I look when I shave it off. But, uh, yeah, they have deodorant, which I have a stick of their deodorant. It's all natural. I really like it. I like it better than Speed Stick, Right Guard, you know, the other mainstream ones that you find in most of the stores. And it actually works better. So, um, what else? They got shampoo. They got cologne. Pine tar, cologne, and then they got another one. Which I'd actually like to smell both of them. Especially the pine tar. Because I have a bar. Well, I've had bars of pine tar. And I really like it. And that's probably one of the top ones. On to the next one, we got Only Hope Soap, another Star Wars edition. And this is a, this one says Zero Brick. Now, it's a marble bar. 
See, this is a zero grit. The other ones have been medium and heavy, and I don't feel any difference, which normally I do. But yeah, that is. This one has kind of a sweet fruit smell too, a little bit, which it has thyme leaf and bentonite clay in it, and shea butter. Trying to see if I, trying to see if there's anything in the ingredients that, for the reason why I smell what I smell, there's not. And then finally, Black Hole. This is another Galaxy Edition. This one ain't a solid or a marble bar. It's spotted. This one has like a lavender smell to it. Even though there's no lavender in it but there's apricot stone black tea wild plum oil the apricot and the wild plum oil might be the reason why that combination might be the reason why it has like a, a little bit of a lavender like a sweet lavender smell so that one Y'all go ahead and comment. Let me know if y'all have. Let me know if y'all have used Dr. Squatch or any other natural soap companies, because I'm actually wanting to get. I'm actually wanting to try some other natural soap companies, and I would really like to know what I did with my bottle of water. But uh, yeah, I'd like to try some other natural ones, and I'd like to get some all natural fragrances because while I like my fragrances I don't really like spraying them on my skin so because I've had a reaction to one and I think I mentioned that in one of the other videos and I just don't really care for spraying all those synthetics on my skin um, so yeah if y'all know of any Go ahead and comment below. Let me know. And let me know how long y'all been listening to ASMR. I've been listening for like five years now. Um, I've always... I've experienced ASMR all my life. Um, I first experienced it when I was a kid. Waking up on Saturday mornings... Um, Waking up on Saturday mornings and watching cartoons and then I'd watch Bob Ross paint. And Bob Ross would always put me back to sleep because I'd experience the ASMR. I'd get I'd get the tingles. I'd get the relaxation. And I experienced ASMR throughout my life, you know, mainly mainly in like an in person setting. Like going to the doctor's office where it's quiet, but then you have certain sounds that stand out from this from that quietness. Those would make me tingle or relax me. So I came across ASMR about five years ago. I honestly don't even remember how I came across it, but um, matter of fact, I think it was Facebook. I think it was gentle whispering ASMR think that's what she goes by um but yeah i listen to her i listen to lonely lisa which i've been listening to her for about six seven months um maddie tingles i've been listening to him for a little for a few months ephemeral rift i've been listening to him for like three years uh that dude's crazy he's got all kinds of 
different characters that he does, like like most uh, like most ASMR artists do. Um, let's see, listen to Fred's voice. I listen to oh, what's another one? There's a couple other ones I just can't think of right now. But, yeah. So I guess I'm about to end this video. But I just wanted to go ahead and do a video. Let y'all see the Dr. Squatch. Go ahead and give a review on those. Since that's what this mainly is. And test out this new setup that I got. But, yeah, y'all go ahead and comment down below. Let me know. And let me know what y'all think about this, since I'm new to this. And go ahead and subscribe, because I am going to get better at this, and I want, I want y'all to grow with me, since ASMR is such a tight-knit community. Because it's just, it really is. And it's growing. I've watched it grow pretty good bit over the past five years so but yeah y'all have a good night or a good day whatever y'all are gonna go do uh, after this so peace y'all